back to Ettingham Park for episode 23 in the origins of Feldcorp. Well, good afternoon everyone. Well, it's almost evening now. It's uh, uh, 20 past 6 on, in the evening, afternoon, day 6, late spring. And our grass has finally turned into hay. So, we are going to start baling it and see how much we get. We've been waiting for this for quite a while now, and <laughs> it's finally happened. Now we've got... Uh, hopefully we'll get a lot off of this field. I've, I've really no idea what the yield's going to be like, um, especially since it's been sat here for so long. I think we cut it, what, uh, back in day three, maybe? Maybe day four? It's, I know it's been quite a while since we'd uh, we'd actually cut it, so it's hopefully drop that off so it's not going to fall in the river. Because that would be my luck too, wouldn't it? <laughs> to drop off and roll into the river or something. But, uh, yeah, no, this is, this is good. Well, we've got two bales already, that's not half bad. And uh, depending on how much we get out of this today, we may well start making some TMR as well. Because we are... Yeah, I mean, we're not short on money at the moment, but we do have uh, a big, well, big-ish chunk of change. Come on, drop off. There we go. Uh, we do have a uh, chunk of change coming out fairly soon now. Uh, in fact, I think it's going to be ready uh, probably later on this evening. Roughly about the time that we're going to need to pick up some of these bales, ironically. Uh, who would have thought that could have happened? <laughs> but uh, yeah, that should, uh, should be all coming out soon. And we'll get, um, get a tractor and uh, a trailer or lorry or something up here to uh, to help shift these bales. But that's what, the third one so far? Or the fourth one? I actually can't remember. That's so sad. I know we've done at least three. I want to say that's the fourth one. I could look it up on the stats sheet in a second, but that hardly seems, hardly seems worth it. Oh, are they? Yeah, that's oh, crumbs a bit too far there. Let's pop that down. Hopefully, it won't roll off. I'm going to check the stats because I'm curious. Okay, that was the fourth one. Okay, so I was right. It was only three, but that's four. That's um, uh, one load of TMR we can now make. So that's good. Oh, now this one's going to be an interesting one to drop off. <laughs> the gates open as well so it might try and roll out into the street oh no I think we're good here if we drop it off here it's either going to roll down there into the fence or possibly yeah I think if, if it rolls anywhere it's going to be into the fence so that's okay we'll run down here quick ahead of it okay it's not coming down I don't think even though we just got stuck in the tree with the yeah, no, we're fine. Lovely. Not a problem. Now, I think that little edge there will get quick too. So that's five. Yeah, so we're going to get a fair amount off of this, which is good. Um, obviously, we've still got a literal ton of bales on the, uh, in the silage department, so we are not going to need to get any more too terribly soon. But, uh, and I'm not sure that we'll get We'll probably get another one cut off of this at least. So depending on how many bales we get uh, now, I'll have to try and remember it for later on in the year. And plus we'll be able to um, throw some lime and uh, uh, fertiliser on this as well, get it up to spec proper. Because uh, it was looking pretty average, I think. In fact, while well, this one is sorting itself out, let's have a quick look at the old soil map. Because we've got soil types, not pH. There we go, yield. And it's this one up here. It's not in the massively good range. Yeah, a lot of it was 65, 7. God, 65 or less? No, 60, 65 percent. That's not a lot. That really is not a particularly good yield. So whatever we get on this we know we're going to get uh, a fair bit more next time, which is 
even better for us, I think. So, yeah, we get some hay baling action, finally, after all that time. <laughs> Who'd have thought? It's very exciting, though, because that means summer's just around the corner. And uh, as soon as summer happens, we'll probably start getting some uh, harvesting contracts again. And uh, now we've got all the straw that uh, we had last year from uh, that wheat field. And uh, we should have uh, barley growing this year. So uh, hopefully we'll get a decent yield of straw for that one as well. So that will be nice. So we'll have uh, a, a good set of um, TMR ingredients going as well. So that's nice. Uh, also tempted to get in uh, contact with the uh, BGA owners and see if there's any any sort of deal we can strike up with them, potentially for access to their um, for their facilities, because it depends a lot on um, sort of how much we get off of this field uh, and what potential extra cuts we can get from it as well. Because if we can get another cut later in the year, then uh, potentially we could look at um, investing in uh, a silage clamp of some sort. Maybe making some silage, or even just um, doing this again. Just uh, baling it as um, silage bales instead, and running it over to the BGA. It's another potential source of income. We shall have to, have to look at that and uh, see how we go. So we're now up to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7... Well, we can just have a look at the stats again. I should keep track of it a bit. Oh, we got 11 bales already. That's not bad. And I just turned it off like a muppet. <laughs> and I missed a big chunk of it right there as well. Back her up. There we go. Nobody saw me roll on the bale there. Nothing happened. It's all good. <laughs> So, yes, where to go from here? I mean, obviously, um, yeah, we're going to have a, a fair few bales, so we'll have to get those shifted and down into storage pretty quick. Uh, not sure we can really get any workers to help us out with this at the moment, since it was not exactly uh, an easy course for things, so we'll, we'll likely be doing it manually. And uh, contracts are pretty dry at the moment, too. There's, uh, there's a few little small ones we could potentially look at getting, but uh, nothing really over in our area that much. And I think uh, one of the lads at the um, horse farm just over there somewhere, uh, they have a small field, small, small, tiny field that needs fertilising. Let's have a quick look. Uh, yes, it was Aaron and field three. Um, I think we're okay not doing those ones, um, and there's just not a lot of uh, extra contract work going on at the moment, but hopefully that's going to all change come um, uh, summertime, which uh, may transgress very rapidly into winter, but uh, we'll see how, how things go there. So obviously we're getting, uh, getting fairly... Oops, too much steer. <laughs> Bit of oversteer there, I guess you could say. <laughs> Uh, yeah, we're obviously doing fairly well with um, our sort of general setup for things now. We got uh, a couple of fields on the go. We got some spuds in the ground. Actually, let's have a quick look at that as well. While I think about it, uh, oh, none of our stuff's coming in until late summer. So yeah, late summer potatoes are going to be actually early uh, uh, early autumn. So a little bit longer to wait than anticipated. So yeah, summer summer may uh, progress by fairly rapidly. We'll uh, we'll have to see. And uh, I think all the planting windows are out now as well, aren't they? Oh, not yet. We could potentially look at picking up another small field and whacking in some uh, some corn or some soybeans. You know, I don't even think we have a planter at the moment. So. We might have to look at that, because uh, yeah, a little bit of corn action might not be a bad thing. Get some corn on the go. Or some sunflowers. We could do uh, do some sunflowers. They certainly paid out quite well last year. When we... Oops, I forgot to discharge that one. Drop it off there. <laughs> yeah, that, uh, that big contract that we did on... Uh, I think it was Field 16. That definitely paid well. 
so we may want to consider um, doing something with those. Yeah, that's uh, an option that we could uh, investigate as well. But uh, for now, uh, I'm going to head on, uh, continue on doing all this bailing here. Now, we've all seen me bail before, so I don't think we really need to uh, to run through it again this time. Uh, obviously, once we get to the uh, collection side of it, start picking these up, then uh, we'll come back and, and see where we are, you know, let you know the full bail count, uh, that sort of thing, uh, and we'll see about uh, about getting them shipped back down to the yard. You know, it could be we uh, just run up quick with the um, uh, auto stacker thing that we've still got leased and uh, move them that way. Because, I uh, know, we're going to have a fair few. I think that takes 24. So we might be okay with that. But we shall see. Anyway, I shall carry on with this and uh, we'll come back in a little bit and see where we are at. Alrighty, we are done with that first field. As you can see, the money in the corner has gone down. And this is the reason why. <laughs> we got our truck upgraded. And it has a, a lovely curtain slider back on it. So that is what we've been waiting for to spend our money on. It had been in the shop for a little while because uh, it needed this uh, big long chassis upgrade. And uh, we bought this uh, sectional back for it. It's got a few different options. There's uh, like a tanker, tanker option. Um, uh, a big dump back option as well, which uh, we may or may not make use of at some point. But uh, yeah, so oh god, that's a horrible camera angle. There we go, that's better. So yeah, that is our fantastic new uh, lorry setup. And this field here, it's uh, yielded quite well. We ended up with um, 25 bales in total off of it, which amusingly is one more than the. Um, thing could handle, so uh, I figure we'd just uh, take the opportunity now to get the uh, lorry all sorted out and uh, bring that up here, and then look at getting these all put into it. Now, if I'm correct, I think we can get them to uh, maybe three high, certainly two high, definitely, if we uh, flip them up like that, and... Obviously, we'll have to do that to all of them, but... I mean, we could have bought the, uh, uh, the little Ursus up with us and maybe scooped a few up and stacked them and moved them that way. But uh, this is okay. It's not too big of a deal. So, uh, yeah, we are now going to... Uh, we'll put that down far enough. There we go. Just get these sorted out a little bit. And... Uh, hopefully make some lovely TMR in the morning and obviously we've got to get this all sorted out and into a shed quick so uh, we may actually go and grab the uh, uh, what do you call it the auto stacker and just get it done a little bit quicker since we are sort of headed into and of course that's terribly terribly done how about that yeah, it's a bit better. It's not brilliant, but it'll do. Uh, yeah, so uh, we'll start uh, getting these loaded on the risk for a time. No, not yet. I think what we'll do is get one of the um, uh, loaders up here quick and uh, start loading these with the uh, help of one of those. I think if we get the little Ursus up, then uh, we can stack them in eights and then just plonk them straight into the uh, Ulcrums. Uh, straight into the truck uh, a little bit easier. You know, sort of stack them up over here and pick them up and put them in in twos or fours or something. Because, yeah, it looks like these will probably only go too high. I would guess. Yeah. I think trying to get them in three high might be pushing it a little bit too much. But that's okay. We could certainly get them in four high, I think. Let's just give that a little nudge into the back, or not, because I hit the spikes on the thing. Oh, there we go, that works. About as far over there as we can get them. Lovely. Okay, yeah, so I'm going to leg it back to the farm and grab that little, uh, a little ursus uh, so we can stack them up and then load them into the truck. 
and then uh, we'll get them back down to the barn or to the farm as quick as we can shove them into a barn before it starts getting too late in the day because it is already eight o'clock at night and we don't really want to leave these out in the field if we can possibly avoid it because you know they will start to deteriorate overnight and that's not really what we want Okay, we got the first few bales in there, it uh, looks to be uh, going quite well. And uh, as you can see, we've got two more stacks of eight there, and one lonely solitary bale, just sitting off to the side. <laughs> so, yeah, we are going to load the rest of these into the truck, and uh, or lorry, whatever this thing is, large vehicle of some description. Hopefully I can avoid making a humongous mess with this, because that would be just my luck at the moment. Go and like knock it all for a burn out of the back of the thing, or tip them over when I'm turning around, or just something ridiculously silly. That would be my luck at the moment. I mean, we've got enough weight on the back of this thing; it shouldn't be uh, bouncing around and having too much of an issue. But we all know how bales and tractors can go sometimes. It can all go a bit wonky. Right when you at least want it to. So let's pop that down there. Pull that out. Lovely, lovely. And just for safety purposes we are going to push the uh, last ones in from the end. And hopefully not make a really big mistake. <laughs> because I can see us making a really big mistake if I'm not careful. So, yeah, let's get them. Lovely. Yeah, that is tipping forwards quite a lot, isn't it? But we would have had enough weight on the back of this, even for four bales at a time. But then, I suppose it is, uh, uh, what, four, eight, twelve, sixteen thousand litres. That's not a small amount when you think about it. Oh dear, yeah, that is tilting forwards a lot. Maybe we need to... Can we lower that? Oh no, we can raise that weight, but I don't know if that would help. That might even have made it a tiny bit worse. Crumbs. Let's see if we can just wedge that one in there. There we go. Drop it down. Oh no, it's tipping out. Do not tip out. Do not tip out. Do not tip out. Back in you go. Okay, lovely. <laughs> so, yes, let us close the uh, curtain side. We should close it completely. And not open the other one. Okay, no, it hasn't. Lovely. So now we are going to start loading from the rear. And with any luck, we should be able to just nudge everything along and straighten it up a little bit towards... Yeah, don't fall over. Do not do that. Ooh, that almost went very badly. <laughs> we haven't even got it into the truck yet. Oh dear. Yes, so apparently bale handling is not one of my main skills, it seems. Maybe we need to look at investing in some sort of telehandler or a wheel loader or something that's a little bit better at this. I really don't remember it being that bad when we were doing the... Uh, uh, what is it? Let's lower that again, see if that helps. Uh, when we were doing the TMR, I don't remember it being quite this uh, wibbly-wobbly on the back end, but maybe I'm misremembering something? I don't know. Let's drop that down there. Lovely. Give it a bit of a push. Smashing. Nothing's coming out the sides there, so that's good. That just leaves us this one stack of four. And I'm thinking we may have to uh, grab the um, bigger auto loader and just run through that field at lightning speed the other one don't fall off please oh dear. being a little bit too aggressive with the steering okay now is 
this lot actually going to fit in here even? It should do. Come on, in you go. In you go, pop it. Ah, there we go. bit of a shove. Okay, oh, I think we are good. We've got that truck probably loaded now. Lovely. Yes, let's go ahead and uh, hop in. Strap it all down for safety. Close the old roly-poly door out the back. Very nice. Okay, uh, well, we shall get this back down to the uh, the farm somewhere. Better turn the lights on. Now this does have a bit of weight to it now, so we'll have to be a little bit careful going back down there. Oh, we're not going to get out the gate like that, are we? No. Back it up a bit. Okay. Now swing a hard left. That got it. Okay. Yes, so we shall get this back to the farm now. Uh, probably just park it inside of a, um, a barn for now. And then uh, get the um, other auto load trailer up here. Or auto stacker. I, th I think it's called an auto stacker, isn't it? Yeah. So, uh, yeah, we'll get the other one of those up, the big one. And um, see what we can do to... Oh, don't go too fast. This is looking a bit wobbly. I need to take those corners a bit slower. I feel like we are going up on half a truck there. <laughs> but yes, uh, yeah, we'll whiz through that other field and get it uh, get it sorted out for the morning, I think. Yeah, we'll get it bailed and, and sorted out tonight before we run out of too much time because it is getting very close to uh, to being dark over here. You know, it is. We're lucky with the um, spring turning into summer time, so it's 9 o'clock and it's still pretty light. But... Oh, I do not want to drive on that field. Back it up just a touch. There we go. We can take out some of the hedge, that's not a problem. Nobody saw that, did they? Oh, hello, that's do that does not look good. Why are they doing that? That does not look good at all. Why do I have a feeling this is going to be a massive explosion of bales at some point in the not too distant future? I am not liking that. Okay, we uh, restrapped it ever so quick there, so now we've only got the... Uh... There we go, I think that's sorted it. <laughs> They really do not like being under pressure in here, do they? Yeah, I have a horrible feeling this is going to go very badly <laughs> at some point in the not-too-distant future. Okay, well, let us... Uh, reverse this truck into here for now. And then we'll just leave it in there and run back and uh, get the other stuff over here and see what's going to happen. Get, turn that off, lights off. Engine off, no? There we go. Lovely. Okay, yes, yeah, so we'll get the... Uh, in fact, we could take the John Deere up with it now. Save uh, too much back and forth. And we can come back and uh, shuffle the machinery around later on. But if we get this uh, hooked up, taken up there, we will be uh, looking good. Oh, no, wrong way. There we go. Okay, hook this up. And I shall see you back up at the other field once we get, uh, get going with that. Oh, it helps if I hook the uh, cables up as well, doesn't it? then we might actually go at a sensible pace. Lovely. <laughs>
Yeah, okay, yes, yeah, so I shall see you all up at the other field uh, once we get a little bit further done with that. Alrighty, we are back again. We got uh, all the rest of these, or this field bailed up, except for a tiny spot of hay up there. And there was no way we were going to get an extra bale out of that, so we just left it. Uh, in total, we've got 41 ba bales of hay, which is not an unimpressive number. So we got 25 off the first one and 16 off of this one. So I am quite happy with that. So we are just going to run around here, grab these, and um, run them back to the farm quick. Then uh, call it a night, let uh, time progress through into the morning, and uh, then see about making some TMR. And uh, possibly um, what uh, contracts come up in the beginning of summer as well. But uh, mostly I think the TMR, because now that we've got some hay, uh, so long as the prices are good, then uh, why not? In fact, we can check the prices in just a second. Because now I'm curious. So 26, 9, 12, 15, 16, 17. Okay. Uh, yeah, you can see there we've got uh, 41 bales created this session. So that's exciting. That's good for us. Very, very good for us. Uh, TMR currently is is down a little bit. It's selling at uh, uh, 1222 And I think the seasonal price for that is somewhere in the 1300s. Oh yes, in fact, 111 more than it currently is. So um, I think what we'll probably do is uh, make some up in the morning and uh, at least pop it into our um, our shed down there. Or the, not shed, but the storage facility that we have. And just pop it in there. That way we'll have something we can uh, sell a little bit later on in the year. Okay, let's close that gate quick. Um, yeah, we'll have some on hand that we can sell a little bit later on in the year. Come on, gate, close. There we go. <laughs> uh, yeah, we'll have a, a little something to sell later on in the year, um, or if uh, a great demand or something comes up, then uh, we'll have something to sell. Because you don't, you, oh, you absolute rude obscenity words here. <laughs> they always manage to drive into me. It was perfectly clear when I pulled out, and the second I pull out, they show up from everywhere and just run into me like I don't exist. I swear these people, the uh, citizens of the Attingham Park area, clearly do not like me. Either that or they don't like whatever vehicle I'm driving in when they hit me. <laughs> One of the two. Uh, yeah, so we'll get this back to the farm and get all the equipment back as well and uh, get things settled in for the night and then pick it up again in the morning once we can uh, uh, see what we're doing basically <laughs> i mean we could do some midnight tmr but i i think we're good i think we're good till tomorrow <laughs> ah good morning everyone so here we are now it's uh, day one early summer and uh, you know we got all our uh, hay bales caught in uh, caught up brought along Oh god, I'm trying to tip the trailer. <laughs> uh, yeah, picked up, brought back to the farm uh, yesterday. And now we are just popping them into this lovely shed that we have. If I can avoid throwing them on the floor, that would be lovely. So I'm just going to very carefully not drive into the wall. Or pillar, whatever that thing is. <laughs> I don't think I've really given myself enough room to work here, have I? There's a barrel there, that's going to get pushed out of the way. Go away, barrel. We'll deal with you later. Oh, that got a bit, a bit rude. <laughs> yeah, perhaps I should uh, I should have thought about this before I started. But that's okay. Oh dear, there's a old jerry can on the floor there. Let me move that out of the way as well. In fact, I might even be able to cunningly drag the barrel with it. No, you're not going to let me do that. Oh, there we go. We rolled it a little bit. Get it away from the hay. Because that's the last thing we want, is an oil drum next to the hay. 
Uh, we'll leave that there. Yes, perhaps if I straighten this up a little bit, that might help. Because we don't have, as you can see, a lot of yard space there. But, maybe if I strap these down quick, that will be a bit easier. There we go. That might work. Let's see about that. Uh, yeah, so uh, essentially we are going to... Uh, let's get in the other side. Uh, yeah, we are uh, moving these into the uh, the barn here now, uh, get them out off of the back of this trailer, so we can run down and pick up uh, the silage bales that we've got down at uh, the old yard, or the headquarters yard, if you will, because it actually works a lot better when I've only got two on the front, although I still can't drive, apparently, but there you go. Like, I even put wheel weights on this thing it does yeah it's got wheel weights on it and it's still flopping and bopping around like a crazy thing but that's okay oh, off you come there we go lovely yeah so we'll uh, we'll get this all unloaded and uh, then run down with this uh, yeah with the uh, this lorry and um, the tractor as well, and make our way over to, uh, or just down the road to um, Fort Corp HQ, so we can get those uh, oh, crumbs, uh, those other bales uh, up here with us, and uh, start making a wee bit of silage, because now the price is currently sitting at um, about 1,200 and change, I think. Let's have a quick look. If I can press the right button. Uh, where are we? Yeah, it's 12.69 and rising. So uh, if that gets up anywhere near about 1300, then we'll probably sell some. Uh, but maybe for next time, uh, we've started getting all these lovely bailing contracts again. Which I know everyone will be really keen to see us do. Because, you know, who doesn't enjoy a good bailing contract? <laughs> yeah, like we need more silage bales at the moment. What we need is more hay. But we'll get some more hay as time goes on, because we can uh, oops, we can smack into the back of the lorry and make a big mess. Um, no, we can uh, uh, get some more hay hopefully off that uh, uh, those two fields that we've got now, grass fields, as uh, summer progresses. Oh crumbs! Is that what am I hitting? Oh, I've run into the pillar at the end there, haven't I? Oops, well, that was a bit of a silly mistake question is, can I drop these off here without making a right pig zero of it? There we go. No, yes, no, maybe. Give me my thing. There we go. Now I've just got to get this one out of the way. That wasn't quite how I intended it to go, but okay. Yes. Hasn't gone exactly according to plan now, has it? But hey, well, literally, hey. <laughs> I need to figure out how to get that thing moved. It's only in the way at the moment where I'm putting all these things in wonky and half-assed. Once we get uh, get some in that are fairly straight and uh, sensible, then I think we will be good. Uh, so yeah, we'll carry on with this, and uh, then we'll go down and pick up some of the. Uh, silage bales that are down there. And that's going to be a bit of a mess because they were sort of all over the place if I remember correctly. Come on, up you come. There we go. Gently does it. Yeah, hopefully this will all go in in one piece and not cause a big mess. Any more of a big mess than I've already caused, of course. And we all know I'm good at causing big messes. <laughs> okay, how are we there? That's good. Uh, don't push it too far. Yeah, okay, that'll do. Lovely. Uh, yeah, I'll see you down at the other place momentarily. Oh, welcome back, everyone. Here we are now, down here at the, uh, the old HQ grabbing some of these bales 
and what we are going to do is try loading it this way for now. And uh, I think we're going to be able to get these three high, aren't we? Lovely. So we're just going to pop them in like that, get an extra one to pop on the top, and hopefully we can call it good. Now, um, I know these are silage bales, and generally you wouldn't go around piercing the silage bales. Uh, the thing is, with these particular ones, uh, we are going to be using them imminently, so uh, not too worried about that. Let's just lower that part. Uh, now, this might be a bit of an issue. Yeah, okay. We are going to plonk that down there. Probably have to... Uh, drag those back out, or maybe pop it in from the side. Yeah, I didn't think this through too well, did I? <laughs> Whoopsie. Uh, but yeah, we are going to uh, going to be using these almost immediately, so not too worried about that. Giving them the old stabaroo there. Okay, now really I should be loading these in from here from the side. Yeah, let's just do that. Otherwise, I'll... Uh, now, we will have to load the last lot in from the end, of course. Because it does have that uh, sort of lip, as it were. So, let's get that up there. Raise that back up. Lift these up. And I think what we're going to do is move the old lorry again. Just for safety. So I shall get this all set up, hopefully, and just have to back into the thing here. And come back out again. That should be fairly straight now. Give us a good chance to get some of these things loaded. Depending on how well I can actually handle the bales. But yeah, see there's that slight, the slightest of lips where the curtain side comes in. So we have to be at a teensy bit of an angle when dropping some of these off. And it basically means it's uh, just a tiny bit off kilter, which kind of makes the rest of them go a bit funny after that as well. Uh, until we get to the end and then we can sort of shove them in and uh, it straightens it all up a little bit. But it shouldn't be too bad. Yeah, we've got these ones. They are at least square bales, so that does help quite a bit. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately we can't just like slide it sideways. Go, what am I, what am I doing? <laughs> yeah, we can't just like slide the uh, the thing sideways. Although that kind of worked a little bit. There we go. That's not half bad. Uh, so yeah, I shall continue on with this. Um, some of these will have to be separated and. You know, stack, restacked and stuff, so I don't want to put you through the uh, the rigmarole of all that nonsense. Uh, unless, of course, anything exciting happens. You know, if I manage to, like, tip the whole load over the back into the... Oh, crumbs. Oh, balls. Uh, yeah, if I do something silly like that, then, you know, we can all point and laugh. <laughs> but uh, uh, otherwise, I shall get these uh, delicious marshmallows or ice cream sandwich blocks or whatever in the heck this stuff actually looks like. I'll get this all uh, all loaded and um, subject to, uh, uh, you know, if nothing else exciting happens like that, then uh, we'll call it good. And uh, I shall see you again in a little bit, probably when we're back up at the farm with the, uh, the rest of it. And, uh, oh, there we go, that worked. Uh, yeah, once we're back up at the farm and uh, making some TMR, we shall come back again. Okay, we are back up at the farm with everything ready now, and we are just going to get the uh, super mega silo king mixing wagon out of the uh, the shed here on the uh, back of the massive Lambo. Uh, oh, it helps if I attach everything as well, doesn't it? <laughs> so let's see about making us some silage. Now we ended up um, having to bring the uh, little uh, Fiat Uno up with. Uh, some a couple of extra odds and ends in it because um, you know we uh, didn't quite have uh, how many did we have we basically had we got a full lorry load there of uh, bales there's uh, 18 in there 
nice and tidy. In fact, I could probably open it quick. If I can remember the button, there we go. It should just be the one side. Uh, yep, so there's uh, 18 all nicely stacked in there. And then uh, we've got five more on the trailer here. So we are going to start by getting some of those moved. Now, they should hopefully come off quite easily. I did unstrap them, so that's good. Although, of course, I can not manage to actually be accurate, so there's that. And I'm almost nudging them, pulling them all sorts, every which way. <laughs> so, uh, if I remember correctly, what we did here last time was uh, a couple of... Uh, four silage, four hay, and two straw, which is quite a good deal, I think. That's quite a nice uh, nice little ratio to go with, nice and easy. Uh, we could do um, more straw, less uh, silage. I think we could do maybe uh, two straw and one silage and two hay, or four hay, or... I'm not sure. So, something like that. But uh, that is our silage in. So we're now going to get two straw. Uh, let's see. If I'm careful, we can pick up that uh, stack here on the end. There we go. I have to get that one solitary one out of the way in a little bit. But... Uh, well, at least these sheds are waterproof, so that's handy. There we go. And now we need four hay. Now, this should be... If I'm careful... Oh, no, we're not going to take them out there. Tell a light. We are going to get the hay bales from back in here. Because we've got... Uh, Another stack of them lurking in this shed. <laughs> yes, where we'd um, accidentally, or uh, well not accidentally, where we got um, 24 off, we bought them back on the, uh, uh, the don't fall off, oh you naughty bale of sh uh, hay. <laughs> naughty hay bale. Okay, yeah, where we bought um, some of them back on the, uh, uh, thingamabopper, um, what do you call it, with the uh, the big big bale stacker thingy, uh, we um, just plumped them in here, out of the way, so they didn't, uh, let's get this view for a minute, there we go, yeah, so they didn't, uh, oh, come on, that's just rude, <laughs> yeah, they didn't, uh, oh, you don't, mm. rude, 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 <laughs> okay, we're just going to fling this one in of its own accord, and then get this one, and it should turn itself into a delicious TMR. Fingers crossed. Uh, but yeah, so we just put those in there, so we're going to get rid of those ones first, because they are more in the way than these ones. And now, hopefully, that should be a nice little load of TMR. Let's have a look. Total mixed ration. Lovely job. Okay, now let's have a look at the price. It is it's still going up, so I think we're going to wait for a little bit now. Uh, we are just going to spin this around. And we should... Oh, there we go. Yeah, we can uh, actually dump it out right here. So we are going to load it into our very own forage uh, thingy. Now... Yeah whatever this thing is. Storage. Forage storage. TMR storage thing. Uh, so then we can just come by here with a uh, trailer at some point and just wake some out and that'll be lovely. So, what's next? Uh, let's get a stack of these. Now obviously we'll have to wait for that to uh, properly uh, what do you call it? Um, properly unload before we plonk any of these in. And that's fine. There we go, get them on the forks proper. Has that finished? Let's have a look. It has. Lovely. 
But if we check on that menu, yep, we've got 40,000 litres of TMR happily stored away. Smashing. Okay, oh, that reminds me, when does corn come into a thing? Is that around here? Yeah, 802 is the good price for corn. Well, it would be later in the year. Let's have a quick check. Um, if I go to the right button. Corn. Eight, ew, hang on. Selling for 848. Hmm. Might be worth offloading that corn that we've got to at some point today. We shall have to see. There we go, that's three of them. And I think we'll just use that one spare white bale we've got over there. That way we should be good. Or we would be if I could actually stab it. That'd be handy, wouldn't it? There we go. I'm not quite sure why I took those blue bales when we've got the um, full stack of white ones in there, but okay. I'm not quite sure what my brain was thinking there, but that's not a problem. We'll get all this sorted out. And, uh, let's see, we're going to need two straw bales. Oh, I forgot to get the little one out, didn't I? No, well, I'll do that next time. Just take these two over the top. Lovely. Yeah, just have to get that uh, that one moved off to the side or something for a bit. That way it won't get in our way next time we go for some straw. Lovely. So yeah, oops, did not mean to do that. <laughs> And now we go for the hay. Oh, lovely. It's just separated that all out, hasn't it? How lovely of it. Well done, game physics. Thank you very much. Can I still stab both of those? If I could see through the barn, that'd be helpful. Okay, we got eight. That will do nicely. There we go. Lovely jubbly. Get them out here. And yeah, so I think uh, we shall continue on with our uh, TMR making exploits. Uh, we may sell some before next time, uh, or we may just wait for uh, wait and see what the price goes up to eventually. We need two more of these. But uh, yeah, so uh, if you've enjoyed whatever this was, then uh, please give us a like, hit the old subscribe button too if you haven't already, and uh, comments are always welcomed. And if you'd like to share this video, that would be greatly appreciated. And uh, above all else, I, I thank you all for watching. I do hope you've enjoyed the, the silliness that was our hay and grass bale debacle thing. <laughs> so yes, on that note, I shall bid you all farewell. Cheerio, everyone. <laughs>